Hello and happy Friday. Happy Friday. We made it on Friday this time. Yay. Woo. Um, <laughs> and once again, I'm going to say it, another boring week. Maybe our most boring yet, actually. Wow. Would you agree with me? I don't know. How many overspent categories do you have? I have two overspent categories. Okay. It totals less than $40. Okay. And also, I meant more boring in the sense that we were bored. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. We stayed home. All week. Yeah. We stayed home all week. Yeah. The only time we left the house was for work and money-making adventures. Yes. That's literally it. We stayed in the house. We ate food we made at home. We didn't order out. Um, we've been very good. We've been, like, it was so good that last night we were just staring at each other like, this cannot continue. <laughs> but tonight is our engagement party with all our friends. And I'm I'm thinking we'll more than make up for it. What about what do you think? I don't know. I'm, I'm I think in the I'm feeling like our friends might be pretty generous. I'm scared. Let's be real. I'm nervous because now we're not going out as much, so we're not drinking as much, and our friends are very excited that we got engaged. And I'm scared they're gonna get us just just ruined. Just as long as we make it very clear that they're not allowed to buy us shots, I think we'll be fine. I don't I don't like shots. They can buy me, um, wings. Yeah. They can buy me steak fries. Yeah. Mozzarella sticks. <laughs> fried calamari. Well, we'll print up a little mini engagement party registry. <laughs> <laughs> you can, uh, unfortunately, someone already purchased the fried calamari, but our mozzarella sticks are still available. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we are learning how to be boring during the week and party, party, party it up. On budget on the weekends. Yeah. Because I think what was getting us was that we were going out constantly throughout the week and like ordering food and doing fun little things, you know? Yeah. Which are good, but when it means that we don't get to do fun big things in our free time, that's less fun for yeah. us. I would much rather invest in some hobbies during the week. Yeah, like stuff and we can do at home and chill. Not be so worried about what the bill is going to be. We go yeah. out on the weekends. Because let me tell you, tonight when we go to our engagement party, one, our friends are going to buy us stuff. They just are. They're so sweet and nice. <laughs> but also, I'm going to blow the fun budget. I'm going to blow it. It's going to be gone. On tonight. And that's fine. Because this week we didn't do anything. Mm -hmm. You know? Like, I, there's nothing coming down the pipeline. There's no weird charges coming in. There's no, oh, we ordered Indian food on Tuesday afternoon. Like, no. We're just going to... Be intentional. Like, we kept saying we wanted to do and then never did. Yes. <laughs> uh, so, long ramble short, uh, we were good this week, which is wild and wacky. So, we do have two overspent categories by just a smidge, because last week, I did go out with my brother, and this is a runover from, like, last Saturday. Um... And then, oh, and then Sunday was the Tony Awards. Oh, yeah. And so we paid $10 to get Paramount Plus for one month so we could watch the Tony Awards. Um, and then we canceled it immediately. Because we're theater people. I don't know. Have we ever talked about it? We don't really talk about it. I kind of talk about it, but not yeah. really. Yeah, Shay does theater professionally, and I have a master's degree in theater that I don't use at all except to talk to people. Yeah. But well. of course we're theater people. Why else would we be living in New York? Yeah, we, in this economy. In this economy, to live in New York, you better really, really care and yeah. love it. And we do. We do. So, um, we paid for Paramount Plus to watch the Tony Awards and then canceled it immediately. And then when I budgeted to go out for dinner with my brother the other day, um, I just overspent a little. I treated him because he is um, currently unemployed. <laughs> Uh, he's, he's freshly employed. He is, he is freshly employed. But the day after we went out to dinner, he had a job interview, and he got that job. So he is actually working for the same company that I work for, which is fun. He just moved to the city, and he's not really settled, and he's not broke. He has his savings, but like as far as going out and doing fun things, he's broke. Because he's way more responsible than I am, I think, in that way. Um, so I treated him. And actually, technically, our dinner and drinks fell within budget, but there's a fun little ice cream place on the corner by my apartment. So we stopped for a little ice cream, and that is actually what put us over. Um, and I don't regret that at all. So yeah, we are thirty nine ninety one overspent this week. That's, that's I think, a record, honestly. Yeah. In the time that I've been making these videos, I think that's it's a record. record. Yeah. Um, so we're going to go in here, and we're just going to cover it. 
because I have no regrets about that. My little brother has lived in California since I moved here. So it's been really fun to have him here and to get to do stuff with him is kind of a blast. So I don't regret that at all. Where'd you go? I was going to find a receipt. Oh, are you budget you're doing your budget right now? I am. Shay and I that's when we film this video, is when we both do our budget. That's true. <laughs> Baby, you should start making your but your budget video as well. We can double up because Shay budgets not on YNAB. Shay has her own Excel spreadsheet. She's tried to use YNAB. YNAB doesn't like gel super well with her brain, I think because it's just so, it's a little intense, you know? If you're watching this video, you know. It's a little intense, the learning curve is a little steep, and her budget works really well for her. So I think that was also not a good motivator because like there was nothing wrong with what she was doing and it works really well for her. So using YNAB was just more work for the same result. Yes. Uh, whereas for me, um, when I tried to use an Excel spreadsheet, I would lie to myself. And YNAB does not allow me to lie to myself. So, maybe I should have you make a little video and we'll post it on the channel. How do you feel about that? Uh, Non-YNAB ways of budgeting? Yeah. I think, am I going to get flack from the YNAB fans? I think they're going to try to, I, they think they're going to try to convince you why YNAB is better. And while I think I agree with them, I think they're also very reasonable people. Who okay. will understand All right. if it works for you. I think people just like budgeting, dude. A lot of people do like the budget mom and her methods are a little bit different. She doesn't use YNAB. That's true. Um, so there's lots of right ways to do it. Honestly, as long as you're doing it. <laughs> yeah. Um, so maybe that's, that'd be fun. Let us know if you'd be interested in seeing Shay's budget spreadsheet that I just volunteered her to post on the channel. <laughs> <laughs> so this week, today is Friday. Tonight is our engagement party. Tomorrow is Saturday. We're going to go visit Shay's parents. Yeah. We're going to, uh, we're actually getting married at their house on their property. So we're going to be scoping out the gardens and making plans and doing the whole thing up there on Saturday. And then Sunday's Father's Day. So we'll be hanging out with her dad. Yeah. Uh, and calling my dad because we're good daughters. Yes, we are. Um, I'm looking at the calendar. And then next week, we are actually, fun fact, on our vacation. So we're doing a staycation in New York City because... When you live in this city, you never do any of the little things, you know? Mm -hmm. You never do the stuff. So we're going to go to, where are we going? We're going to the Natural History Museum? Yep. We're going to... A Broadway show. A Broadway, a Broadway show. We're going to go see Some Like It Hot. Yep. Uh, we're going to do, some people may get this reference, some may not. We're going to do the walk from the tippy top to the tippy bottom. Of Manhattan. Of Manhattan. Um, we are going to walk up by the Met and the Cloisters and then all the way down, probably down through Central Park, down Broadway... All the way down to Battery Park at the very bottom of Manhattan. It's like a 16 and a half mile walk. Yeah. I have done it before. I have been trying to get Shay to do it forever. And she finally agreed. <laughs> so we are going to do that. Uh, we are doing one of those fancy uh, tasting menus. Like a chef's tasting menu. Yeah. We are going to... What are we doing on that day? On downtown day? Um, I think... Oh, that was the Tenement Museum? The Tenement Museum. And we're going to do the Staten Island Ferry. Yeah. Set on Ferry or the or the Statue of Liberty if we're feeling motivated, but I don't think we are. And then this, and then the weekend after that, the twenty fourth and twenty fifth is Pride Weekend in New York. Which, if you've never gone to New York Pride, you've got time to get here because it's a blast. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, we have a lot going on this next week. Um, but what's fun is that almost all of it. I think I've shown this budget to people before. Remind me again if I have or have not. I feel like I keep telling you guys about all the same stuff. Um, but we have been budgeting for this um, on my other, I have, this is my, it's called Perfect Little House because it started as like our little house budget, mm -hmm. but it's kind of just evolved into my, like my personal savings yeah. budget. Stuff that I don't, this is a separate account, this is not linked to my regular account. This is stuff that I don't want to pull any money from. So I've started my wedding savings, as you can see. Um, I've got vacation savings on this budget because like I'm, my overspending is better than it ever, like it has been in quite some time. But if you've watched my videos for a while, you know that I have a tendency to overspend and then I have to pull from other categories to cover that. So I just keep them off this budget entirely so I can't pull from them because I have to trick my little brain to do silly little stuff. It's the same thing I do with my student loans. Yeah. <laughs> so, oh, also, something I should probably mention. I haven't even gotten to any budgeting yet. It's fun. Um, I redid my categories and such just a little bit. I was watching um, the YNAB YouTube, The Budget Nerds. Uh, Shay does not like The Budget Nerds. It's not that I don't like The Budget Nerds, it's just that I 
can't possibly imagine them having that much to talk about that they need an entire channel. I wish they had a weekly podcast. I wish they would talk more. More. I, I wish just more. about YNAB. Yeah. There's so much. It's not just about YNAB. It's about budgeting. It's about personal finance. It's about like it's about digging in. You know. They answer questions a lot. I like it. You don't have to like it. It's fine. What she doesn't like is when I listen to it while I'm working because then we're both in the office and she's like, I cannot listen to them talk about memos anymore. So I've redone my categories a little bit. They just weren't, the names weren't doing it for me anymore. I rearranged things a little bit. So now we've got bills, life, sinking funds, vices stayed the same because that is what it is. My credit card payments. I still have a vacation category, even though I save for it on the other budget because I do all my spending off of like my credit cards to get points and miles and things. Um, general savings, and then this is just a flow through when I want to send money to that other savings budget. Um, so let's, you know, let's start budgeting and we'll go over the categories and how I've moved things around while we do it. First things first, bills category. It's my bills. <laughs> uh, it's all things that are due monthly or annually. I, I got rid of my subscriptions. I put those in here. These are my bills, the things I need to live. Life. Bills and life kind of go hand in hand. Life would be what a lot of people call uh, variable expenses. My groceries, clothing, um, the consumables, personal care stuff, transportation. Like stuff that's not a set amount, but I use every month also. What do I need to fund both, both of these all the way? Oh, okay. So I've got $863. And to fund both of these categories all the way would be 1,072. So that math doesn't math. So let's prioritize together. Why why don't you say? Um, Rent, I'm going to finish right now. We discussed that last week. I want that to be done earlier. Um, These are all covered. I need 259 to get my Con Ed back up because I used it to cover something else. Just want to get that tight. Files is going to go through shortly. My Costco is funded for now. I'm going to leave that. I'm going to leave that alone at the Mo. Um, why not? Let's put 10 towards that. Get that done a little early. I like the even numbers. I don't like the, like Con Ed right now is 77, 15, 1994. I don't like that. But what are you going to do? Okay, we've got $415.87. I know tonight we are probably going to spend, what do we usually spend when we go to the cast? About 100 bucks. Yeah. I'm going to put $100 in date night. And then if we don't spend it all, rad. If we do spend it all, rad. Yeah. I'm kind of okay with it. Um, transportation, we are going to see your parents, which is $30 on the train. Yes. But I have, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I have tickets on my phone. You do? I do. No, I have one. I have a peak. That's not peak, but who cares? Yeah. Um, so I need 15 Yes. for your parents. So let's just do... Engagement party tonight. Mm-hmm. We're going to be all over the city. Um, actually, in our vacation budget, I budgeted in. Um, oh, we're going to need the seven-day metro parks. $66 for, yeah, two oh, seven-day metro parks. Yeah, so if we... Um, because I thought ahead. You did think ahead. You're better at this than me. <laughs> um, if, for those of you who don't live in the city or maybe have never been to New York City, uh, if you buy an unlimited metro card... It'll save, it, 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 for me right now, I used to buy a monthly one and just every month I would just have unlimited rides because when I was going to work and going out and I was riding constantly. Mm-hmm. Um, but right now we both work from home. We don't really, yeah. we don't really like go on the train very much. Like when we do stuff, it's mostly just in our neighborhood. Yes. So the unlimited card only saves you money if you are doing more than a trip to and from work five times a week. Yeah. So if you ride 10 times. So right now the subway each individual ride is two seventy five. Yeah. And right now we're going into the city. Maybe if we're if we're going in a lot, it's probably three times a week. <laughs> so yeah. um, an unlimited metro card for a week is thirty three dollars. So if you're not going more than like twelve times, it's not worth it. But next week we absolutely will be. So maybe on Monday we'll just buy a unlimited. So yeah. I need. I don't need it because it's gonna be in my travel money. So then I don't need to worry about it. So I do need to put 15, because I need 550 for today. Mm-hmm. And then tomorrow to go to your parents. What's what's 275 times three? I'm not good at math. 
I guess I could have wine. 825. Boom, 825. So 15 plus 825. I could do all this. Why not does math for you? I would say just put in 10 for the metro. For the metro? So 25? Because I did 15 for the ticket to your parents, or from your parents. Yes. So $25 in transportation, and the rest will be on our... Why was that so hard? Because we're not good at math. Like I said, we're theater people, people. Um, we're not good at math. Um, so I'm going to put 25 bucks in transportation. That was a really long conversation about transportation, but guess what I didn't do? Forget about it again. Uh -huh. um, <laughs> um, personal care. Don't really need anything. You're paying for groceries this week, and I'll pay on the last week, and then we'll settle up at the end of the month. Yes. So I'm not going to put any money in there for now, mm -hmm. and I'll gauge it next week. Yeah. Um, the way that we split groceries, fun fact, is there's an app called Splitwise, that some of you may already know. It's pretty popular. Um, but I was an annoying girlfriend, um, and I was having a hard time doing splitwise for everything that we were buying, and so I made Shay only use it for groceries because it was messing up my budget. <laughs> and that was when she knew that I was a nerd. <laughs> and she was like, what is happening? I knew but you were was, a nerd way before that. Hey, 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 hey. Groceries is the thing that we buy most often. Yes. We buy mostly, almost entirely. And then if there's something that one of us buys that the other person is like, oh, we should split that. We just Venmo that individual thing. And it's not a lot. It's not very often. So it's working pretty good. Okay. Anyway, fun fact. And so I bought groceries the first two Fridays of the month. So Shay's going to buy them this time. And then I'll probably, then we'll settle up on Splitwise and we'll see at the end of the month. It usually evens out pretty good, honestly. Yeah. We're, we're pretty good about, like, our split wise balance I don't think has ever been more than, like, $50 difference between the two of us. Yeah. We're really good at it. Just saying. Um, sinking funds. If ever, if no one, if you're new to budgeting and you don't know what sinking funds are, um, they're the thing that stops you from your life falling apart, honestly. <laughs> um... <laughs> It's uh, like, like I wear glasses, so I save up in a vision category because I know I'm going to need to buy glasses. But I don't need to buy $26 worth of glasses every single month on the 15th, you know? But like eventually, I'm going to need glasses for people who drive cars, which is not us, but some people do. you got to save up for like car tires and an oil change and registration and things like that. Fun fact, I didn't know what sinking funds were for very long time. Even after I met you, I didn't know what they were. Yeah, I've been watching a lot, a lot of budget YouTube. A lot of budget YouTube. So much budget YouTube. And I just, I'm realizing that, like, I've been doing this for a long time, so I kind of have this assumption that, like, everybody knows what things are. And then I'm watching people who are, like, learning it for the first time later in life. And it's like, this is something that is not normally taught. No. So... Like, where would you have learned it if you're not, you know? You have to seek it out and learn it for yourself. So I'm trying to be better about explaining what things are and, like, how they work. Because I can't just assume that everybody knows a sinking fund. That doesn't, like, if you don't already know what that is, it doesn't make any sense. So, car tires. My dental category I like to fund because I'm getting a lot of dental work done every year. Gifts. Christmas comes every year. Birthdays come every year. But I don't know how much I'm going to spend and on what, so I want to try to save for those things, just like medical... Um, I consider my Roth IRA a sinking fund currently because it's not something I'm funding a lot, but I would like to, so I keep it there. That's all. That's what sinking funds are. Variable expenses, life things, groceries, bills. Everybody knows what bills are, unfortunately. <laughs> um, vices I am not funding this week because everything's going to be spent out of travel and date night. Yep. So I'm going to leave it at nothing, and we're not going to do extras. Um, vacation, I have, I can, tra I'm going to transfer that money over, I don't know, soon, <laughs> and it'll just go in this travel category, and because that's where I spend my travel out of, um, savings is my long-term savings, so my, this is my emergency fund, I call it income replacement, that just stays in this high-yield savings account off to the side here, um, Harvey's getting his own emergency fund. I'm working on that. I need a new computer. The computer I'm recording on right now is old. It's like an almost eight-year-old MacBook Air that I bought uh, in grad school. She's Her time is coming. It's getting me through right now, but 
I'm going to need another one. I need to start saving for it, so we're working on that. Um, this is me stalling because I don't know what to do next. <laughs> I think I'm just going to fund Rock Fitness. And then is this... Oops. Well, that's everything. I don't want to know that. Yeah, so all my bills are paid. My bills are paid. Um, that's cool. Life, I am under about 150. So I think I'm gonna, I'm just gonna work top down. I kind of tried to structure this in a way where it's like these things need to get funded first and then these things would come second, you know? I mean, groceries are important, don't get me wrong. Um, let's just, you know, let's just do this. I'm having a hard time because I'm not used to having, like, not immediate chaotic priorities. <laughs> you know? Um, oh, I should have got cat litter when we were at the store earlier. Dang it. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, household fixtures. We do want to buy some more window screens. Just saying. We don't need to right now, but that's... This is a monthly savings builder, I think. Oh no, it's needed for spending. No, I want it to be a monthly savings builder because I want to just put $40 in there no matter what and save up for some bigger stuff. Twenty-one thirty-five. I think like the logical thing to do is just put this in personal care. Plus twenty-one thirty-five, And then we have... Two paychecks left in June? Two paychecks left in June? Wow. Wow! My underfunded for this entire month is $841.63. And I have $1,800 coming in. <laughs> what the heck? Nice. <laughs> nice. Um, yeah, next You're month. You're absolutely killing the game. Next month, my total goals are 3100 that's with four paychecks, that'll be about 3600 Wow! I keep, I feel like I do this every budget. I'm just like, what is happening? I don't know who I am anymore. Um, wow. Okay. That's pretty rad. We're making great progress, I think. Even though we were extremely, extremely bored this week. I think as we figure out our, like, at-home hobbies. Yeah, I think we just have to figure out how to make it, how to, how to romanticize the whole being at home and not doing anything in particular after work. Yeah. All right. Okay. Okay. I'm feeling pretty good. Wow. I'm, <laughs> the world can't handle me right now because I feel too good. I got vacation next week. Enter. Student loans. Sitting pretty. I mean, you know, it's not, not pretty, actually, considering the numbers on these bad boys are rough. So, it's looking like the repayment is going to resume what they say? September 1st? October 1st? Somewhere around there? Somewhere. Yeah, I don't remember. Um, but anyway, interest is going to start accruing before the payment is due. So my plan is to, when I, I'm going to write down somewhere what that first, like when that interest starts accruing, and I'm going to drop all this money on one of these big boys um, before that, because that would suck to have to pay the interest on the big chunk and not the little chunk. Um, so that's the plan currently. Uh, and obviously I will record that because that's going to be a big deal for me personally. Um, so yeah, we are making progress. We are making moves. As always, let us know if there's anything else you'd like to see. For real, let me know if you guys want me to strong arm Shay into making a, uh, making a video about her, her little spreadsheet budget that she uses because it works well for her if YNAB is overwhelming for you. And that's all for us. Have a wonderful weekend. Thanks very much, everyone. Have a wonderful week. We will be just, just partying around New York City. So I hope you guys do something that feels like vacation this week. Have a good one. Are you going to say bye? Bye. <laughs>